All right, here we go. So we're we're doing the uh, the slit test, but we have the left side covered and the right side open. So we're actually going to see if we can see a difference in the torque in the Z axis as we increase the angle of attack, because if one setup works better than the other, then one side of the wing should stall before the other side, which means we should have some change in that. Z number. Okay, so let's go ahead and raise the angle of attack. So Jackie's going to go through and slowly raise the angle of attack, and we're going to watch this. So, give me an approximate where you're, what angle of attack you're at on this stuff. About seven degrees angle of attack. Ten degrees. Twelve degrees. Starting to see a little flutter. Definitely seeing some flutter now. All right, fourteen. So now we're seeing some good flutter. And you can see the angle of attack that we're sitting at here. At right about 14. All right, keep going. So we can see the TZ number really dropped here. Now it's way, way down. Where are you at now? I'm at uh, 16. It's about 16 degrees. We're still down. There's still a lot of flutter going on. And now we're back up. So where are we at now there? 18. We're at 18. So we can see that as both sides stall, we come back up to a, a positive TZ. But when only one side is stalled, we see a lot of flutter in that wing. So just kind of a cool little experiment. Okay.